Good afternoon, afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is Monday in North Texas, February the 22nd. It's finally above freezing. It's actually a nice day out. And this is episode number 118 of your three business tips at 3 o'clock in and around three minutes. It's a busy Monday, but I am so excited. You know, I tried to read about a book a week lately, and I am totally caught up in, in uh, Morton Hansen's Great at Work. You wouldn't think a book about being better at work would be so interesting, but I love this book. I, I've been listening to it on audio, and I think I'm going to buy it because I need this book in my library. It's an excellent book. That's not what we're talking about today, but it is an endorsement for that book. Actually, we are talking about something from that day. So I've read a little bit more of the book, and today we're going to talk about new skills, focused energy, and fight unite. New skills. As a business owner, so solopreneur, you should always be uh, improving your skills. It's a priority we want to do, but we don't make time to do it. But in the book, he mentions that you should do it in little bitty segments, 15 minutes a day. What could you do or focus on for 15 minutes, maybe at the start of your day, to be better? For me in the web design business, I have people that are great at Photoshop. I would like to be better at Photoshop. That's a skill I could focus on for 15 minutes a day. So what particular skill, this is my first business tip, can you focus on to be better? That's what I mean by new skills. Business tip number two, focused energy. Yesterday when we started this, I was telling you about do less and obsess, purpose with passion, and schedule intense focus. That purpose with passion is P squared equals focused energy. Just to review and to kind of kind of expand on that, you can have passion about something in your business, but that doesn't make you successful, okay? And you could have purpose in your business, but that doesn't make you successful, although it may make you a little successful. But when you marry your passion with your purpose and you do both of those at the same time, in the book, he talks about that's where focused energy comes in. Of course, it requires you to say no to a lot of things, but that's what P squared equals focus energy means. The third and final tip for today is like myself, uh, Morton is really big on not having meetings or not having meetings for the purpose of having meetings. And in business, whether you're doing Zoom calls or getting together with colleagues, sometimes we have a tendency to overmeet, and it's a waste of time. So if you are going to have meetings, he recommends this, this theory called Fight Unite. Meetings should be collaboration of people who don't agree, and you should really dig through that really fast, so almost like a fight. You know, why should we do this? Why should we not do this? What are the pros and cons of it? And get into an argument to really dissect and pull that out. And then once you decide, you then unite the team around that. That, in his opinion, is the best way to conduct the meetings. Not the same old meetings where there's one person lecturing and giving information to another. You can do that through other means, but not through meetings. But if you're going to get together with a group of people, let them share a variety of different ideas. Uh, play devil's advocate. Try to pull everything out of the meeting you can. That And then unite together. That's his concept of fight and unite. So our three business tips today are dealing with new skills for you, right? Focused energy. And then this concept of fight and unite. I share this with you because I'm learning. I know you're learning. I want you to be more successful and be awesome. Now go back to sleep.